12 minutes after 10 a.m. Some legendary productions here on Showbiz Agenda. And uh, we are all going to celebrate the man, Edward Nana Pokuose. That is his real name. You can simply call him Hammer of the last two. And uh, DJ Sticker has done it well, uh, taking us back to some of his works. And um, Hammer, is that all? Or there are more to play? If we give you some more hours, maybe my DJ can do more. <laughs> my DJ can do more hours in the name of Hammer. Yes, sir. I know. I know. <laughs> so many hours he can do. Uh, that is why people don't st- uh, still understand why our man says, Because the, the beats are still evergreen. Yeah, it's... it's um it has to do with challenges. Mm-hmm. I, I like to challenge myself as I go on. Uh, I feel it's, it's too boring to be in one industry because there's so much we can do in this 70-year average that we have. Uh, there's so many we can give. I mean, there's so much we can give uh, to the youth and people who come after us. Okay. And I think that I've done my bit in music. Uh, as in being a creative force in the actual participating in the actual music. Mm-hmm. I'm going to come back eventually. I'm coming back after uh, my celebration. I'm coming back as a businessman, though. Mm-hmm. I won't be coming back as a uh, as a as an artist. Okay. I'm coming back as a businessman, trying to put these boys together again. This time, I'm not playing the beats. I'm putting producers together. Mm-hmm. I'm putting uh, engineers together. I'm putting um, artists together mm-hmm. and recreating this thing that we did 20 years ago oh, okay. till now. I so see. Um, with the creating part my uh, pong b- besides the boys are playing some crazy stuff right now that you know what I came to do was teach you know I, okay. I, I, I think that after me I, I, I God made me influence a lot of people to become what they are Okay, so I think that uh, I've given my share, but what the boys are doing now, I'm not ready to compete with them because <laughs> the boys are really, 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 really playing some crazy stuff, mm. and I'm mm. enjoying them on radio constantly. Mm-hmm. You know, so now I think that my wisdom that I have acquired over the years can be put to use by creating what now one try to do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I want to be doing now. I want to come and put the boys together. And take them to the world. Okay. You know. uh, so coming in as an investor yes. of yes. talent. Yes. I see. And uh, you, you're going no, to do not, that? Not only investor. Uh, intuition. Use my intuition to really teach. You know, uh, advice. Because I'm actually not only bringing money. I'm bringing experience. And, and, and expertise. Okay. You know, yeah. But just that I won't be playing beats. And I won't be doing... You know, okay, what, yeah. and uh, most of these things you'll be doing after the celebration of Hammer, yes, at 20. Yes, I see. Yes. Now, now, let's go back to the Paimuka thing. I think before we start talking about the real activities we're going to do with the Hammer at 20, um, I have heard some names like JQ, I've heard some names like Fifi Rush, I've heard some names like DKB and Co. So still talking about their contribution to the Paimuka album and how come some of them, their names were even left out and all. I have always been looking for that opportunity to ask you. Their names left out? Yes. Well, um, everybody who's who played a role in creating Paimuka hasn't been left out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fifi and uh, DKB, as in David Kwamina Bolton, yeah. didn't participate in Paimuka. They didn't participate in Paimuka? No. They, we didn't even know them during Paimuka. You didn't know them? Yes. We came, we, we met them when it was time to record the second album. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I produced Who Born You By Mistake in his studio. Uh, Who Born You By Mistake and uh, Chuan mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I also produced and then Nyame, and then Nana, 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 in their studio. And I also produced um, Brabeche mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in their studio. Mm-hmm. That was when I, I met them. Okay. That's when Obrafo too met them. Mm-hmm. So Paimuka wasn't, we didn't know them during Paimuka, so that information is wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how about JQ? 
JQ was already a producer. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I think, was doing book back mm -hmm. at CHM, mm -hmm. where I recorded Obrafo. Okay. Now, JQ, uh, uh, you know, like we, you've been in the studio, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are people in the studio that you you respect and you you you. Uh, he, he was invited to do a song on the Paimoka song, on the Paimoka album. Okay. It's called So Mi Mu. Well, after the song was done, I, I, I cancelled the song. Okay. I rejected the song for the album because the album was full of originality. And uh, that song was, um, that song was a, 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 a sample. Okay. Of, you know that song, Da 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 da. It's one of the American songs. Old songs, old songs. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that they used that mm -hmm. to do the song, mm -hmm. and I said, no, this song is a historic album. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to allow any sample on, on it. it. So mm -hmm. I rejected that. Mm -hmm. So he didn't end up on the album. So uh, uh, the people who were on the album. With Zola, he's in a, he, he's in Obrafo's um, 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 documentary. Okay. He was the engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, mind you, Paimuka, I hadn't seen a studio before. You yeah, yourself? Yes. Paimuka was the first place I saw a studio. I was drumming on tables. Now Obrafo was rapping. Ah. So <laughs> this is what people don't understand. You see, Paimuka was the first time I was privy to a studio. Obrafo had even seen a studio. I hadn't seen a studio. So he was coming to my house, we're drumming in my, uh, my, my kitchen, my, my parents' kitchen. Have the best, uh, the deep freezer in my parents' kitchen. <laughs> Has the best cake ever. Mm. When you hit it. Mm -hmm. So we go to the kitchen, especially because of the deep freezer. So I can boom, then with my knuckles kick. Then he's rapping. Then he kept on saying, I know a place. But did you, did you know how to play the keyboard then? No, the keyboard is just um, a way to drive. Okay. And stuff. Yes, I knew how to find my way. Okay. Uh, my partner, Deep, was a keyboardist. Okay. Uh -huh. So it, th that part was no problem. Mm -hmm. But JQ was already in that studio. You know, so sometimes when somebody's rapping, he can record. Mm -hmm. As in, he would take the voice. Yes, the, the person. Not always. It mm -hmm. was Zola's job. Mm -hmm. But when you're there, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Ajingo too was there sometimes, he can do it. Okay. JK himself has a guy called uh, Odonsio mm -hmm. who does all his voices. Mm -hmm. I think that Ajingo too does all his voices. Okay. So it's not like a, a role. Mm -hmm. When I'm in the studio and I'm eating, mm -hmm. my food is ready, I'm, I'm having my lunch, somebody can record my voices. Mm -hmm. It is not a big deal to record voices. Uh, so occasionally he recorded some voices, but his real role was to produce a song and that which song, never ended up on the exactly. album exactly so with the jq issue that is uh, the, the, the story over there oh okay uh, but 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 he was re really really instrumental in advising me because i was, it was my first time he was also very young you know because i'm 42 now okay and he was i think he he's he's my age or behind me one mm. you know obrafo is ahead of me one mm -hmm. he's 43 i'm 42 JQ was was 41 or 42, I, I don't remember. So oh. we we're all very young. I was 22 at the studio when we we're doing the Paimuka. Mm, at the CHM studio. Yes. So we we're all very young people trying to, you know. But when anybody like if he's there and he he, he knows how to record, I'll just Shall I go take voice. Mm. So um the role I needed JQ for, we we cancelled it. Mm. So mm. and uh, so Zola himself called me about this JQ tweet. Mm -hmm. And he, he said, what, what does it mean? Uh, and I said, I don't know. You know, because I had planned to call JQ mm -hmm. about my 20 years. Because mm -hmm. I wanted I wanted it to be a JQ versus Hammer. Okay. You know, instead of just a Hammer thing. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. I saw that, I, I, I was confused. So, I, so you but, haven't called my, him? My team is still... In touch with him? No, they are, they are still going ahead with the Hammer. Planning. 
very hammer planning i see you know. all right so um matters cleared i believe so many people were also waiting for that now w- one area um you can still go ahead to do your thing we're still having a chat with uh, hammer edward nanapoku or say and of course now the history of paimuka hammer is still giving us more details more useful details for us to do the documentary now one area everyone was expecting to see you and maybe uh to see you explain the happenings of paimuka was on the documentary yes I'm and there. Uh, yes i know but we have not seen it the documentary the documentary is still ongoing you know mm-hmm. i put an embargo on uh, some time ago and why did you do that hammer because there was too many inconsistencies uh the documentary is uh is is history it's it's not for us it's for the youth who are coming to hear about it's like people reading about malcolm x and them down you know, people will be coming in the in the future to read about Brafo. They ha- they need the right story. Mm-hmm. I noticed when I watched the excerpts and when I was asked to see what it was all about, mm-hmm. I noticed so many inconsistencies. People trying to place themselves in places where they were not. People trying to place themselves in situations they were not part of, just to be called oh nami wo hobi. Now I'm sorry. We were just little boys. My mother would give us money to take a camera of Brafo. And we would just go to the studio. We pick Anof, my partner. Mm-hmm. We knew what happened. You were not there. So I cancelled like half of the, the documentary. You know, because Brafo didn't want to be part of it because he wanted he didn't want it to be like biased. Mm-hmm. So he didn't want to be part of it. So he left the organizers to go around talking to people to do their production so they were doing their stuff he wasn't going to check what was happening so finally they did a trailer and they came to show it to him and he said okay fine but when i saw it i said no okay cancel it because it's not true i was there i played a major role i directed the whole album even this the, the person who was paying the money damasu didn't even have access to the music the music was with me anybody who wanted to hear the music came to my house I was preventing a leak. So I took responsibility. If the music leaks, Hama na yeye. Because Hama pe and it will be. So to eliminate anybody for any problem in the future, all the sound was with me. CEO wants to hear the sound, he drives to my house. Obrafo wants to hear the song, he brings his friend to my house. So his friend can hear his song. The first person out of this circle you never left the data in the studio no hey everything it's still in my house <laughs> your brother doesn't have it right now he doesn't have it it's my house even as we talk as we speak you know so i i the only person that i gave the music to after this circle was abraham ohenejan mm. because then he was our, going to produce the video i was our our executive producer didn't have experience in the music industry. Mm-hmm. But he was a senior of Obrafo during school days. Mm-hmm. So he really loved Obrafo. And he did the thing. You know, but it was time to go beyond money. Mm-hmm. It was time now to go to connections. The music business proper. The music business, mm-hmm. how to get to the radio stations. We didn't know nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, Bolario had already granted me an interview about the beats on top on on no not top mm-hmm. universe oh, okay universe before top fm good yes mm-hmm. universe you know so that was our first interview then our second interview was radio gold mm-hmm. with bb Manson and them mm-hmm. so abraham took over and the rest was history so abraham was the person we handed over to uh, that was when i Yes, I, I, I just I, I just pulled away from the mm. work. I didn't want money. I swore an oath mm-hmm. that I didn't want money mm-hmm. in Abraham's office. Okay. I said I want the last two music group written there. We didn't want money. My partner and I, we said we didn't want money. Mm. So the Paimuka production and co, you never no. earned a city from it. No, it was it was our portfolio. It was our it was a gift, and also our interview to future producers. After one. When the thing came out, when Abraham released it, mm-hmm. after a month, I got a call. I was in America. I got a call. My parents called me about somebody called Deba. I mean, Richard mm-hmm. wanted to do a song. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So ever since that time, it paid for itself. Mm-hmm. You know, so the Paimukan was a kind of 
you know, uh, portfolio for us mm -hmm. to show. And that is a legacy you are still yes. keeping now. and enjoying. I know. <laughs> yes. You guys <laughs> give, give that album all the respect and I keep on looking good. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. So the respect for that album much. is huge. Now, let, let's go to the concert proper. Uh, that is the climax of the whole event. Uh, we know you missed it. You've already explained to us you had some serious cold and flu, so you couldn't go there to infect other people. But what are the highlights you can talk about, though you were not there? I believe you've seen videos, you've seen photos. What are the highlights that you would want yeah, to talk about? We, I mean, I, I, I think that... Uh, uh, it was great. I wish mm -hmm. it could have been more. Okay. I was expecting uh, a bigger event, a more interactive event. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't looking for a concert. He knows, and uh, but then he had already issued out the contract for the organizing. Mm -hmm. You know, but what I was looking for was a more interactive uh, event where there were seats, armchairs on the stage when Obrafo is sitting down, talking, answering questions video showing documentary showing people performing and going back to sit down right there drinking their water you know so when they perform, he sits down right there and he's chatting and you can see him chatting and people can get up and ask questions like a more interactive show more intimate show yes i was looking for an intimate show but we didn't get that but we got a great concert you know i wasn't looking for a concert concert i wish it would have been on that level but I mean, they did a great job. They managed to deliver the... Yeah, I like the climax, the ending. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I realized that they all came on stage. That's when I remembered that we need to do the Hammer. Hammer at 20 yeah, as well. Because the boys, the boys need to be on stage at the same time. Mm, I see. Yeah. Now, was there someone you missed? Because I know Tiny 2 couldn't go there. Yeah, I heard. I don't know why. Did he explain why? Yeah, he explained. Um, according to him, I'm sure it is because of communication, okay. where he thought Otin and his team, they were uh, going to conduct how he will go there, but at a point, they left him hanging. Oh, that's so, so bad. That's mm, too bad. Mm, mm, because I know he also missed it, and he wanted to be there, as a matter of yeah. fact. Yeah. And Yalabito also missed it, and he's crying now, even as it stands now. Uh, <laughs> I had your show yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I think, was it yesterday? Two no, I think it was on Friday. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to comment about it. I know. I will, I will destroy uh -huh. matters. I know. I will bring matters back. Uh, what, 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 what matters would you bring back? <laughs> <laughs> I was privy to what role Mikey played in his life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm surprised at his tone now. I saw what Mikey did for him, mm -hmm. but that, that goes to, I mean, that, 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 that gives us all a warning. Mm -hmm. When you're holding somebody's hands, be careful, the kind of relationship, I mean, you have to, you can't just pick up somebody and just start doing everything for them. Just make sure there is evidence for stuff. Because even though you think that you are helping, it doesn't seem like that to everybody. You know, I was very disappointed in his tone. I, I couldn't believe my ears because I know him uh, through Mike. I don't know him on my own. I know him walking behind Mike, you know. So I, I don't understand why, it, it, how, how it came to this. But I wish they, they really... Uh, solve it. Yeah, they solved the mm. issue. I see. Okay, uh, that said, let's come back to Hammer at 20. Um, I don't know if you have a good list, but then in talking about the celebration, who would come to mind when we are listing artists to be part of the Hammer at 20? Can you get us everyone you think should come oh, to play on I the day? That's everybody I've ever worked with uh, and everybody who feels I've had an influence in their career. You know, there are people that are my fans, but necessarily, I didn't even necessarily work with them in the music industry. You know, we producers, our real fans are the artists. Mm -hmm. The artists, their fans are the public. But we producers, our real fans are the artists because they are the ones who admire Your works. our works because they get to uh, collaborate with us. You know, but recently, now we have transcended that level. Right now, we 
our fans are even you know in the public fans, now yeah. people know you know so we really there are a lot of artists that i couldn't work with uh, that i know will support me uh, i worked with shatawale before uh, uh you mean you worked with bandana yeah yeah bandana <laughs> yeah i worked with bandana <laughs> long before uh bandana from ghana and he he's been one of my big like you know i've really admired him for for, for a long time mm-hmm. but i've never really officially worked with him okay and i know he has promised on radio that he's representing live mm-hmm. on my show okay i know samini i've never worked with him okay but he's always been most of the time i'm working at hush hush in the studio he's there but we never clicked to work you know what i'm saying and i know he has promised to come and support so these are some of the people I know I haven't worked with, but will support. Okay. Yeah. Um, in fact, I wanted some names. For instance, when you mentioned Deba, some of some of the young folks might not even have enough information about Deba and what you did for him. Maybe DJ Sticker, you can take us back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> let's let's enjoy some of the Deba productions uh, Hammer did, and after that we'll come back to continue with the interview. In fact, very very revealing chat we are having here, and um, with the people. Um, exp- in fact, I want names because there are some of the names I swear we've forgotten. Because we are all feeding into the new uh, business. Yeah. Some of the names we've forgotten. Let's see how best we can bring them all back as part of the Hammer at 20 um, uh, celebration. And again, we get a fine details as to how the celebration will be. Unlike how he wanted the Obra 4 concert or the last one to be like, he would tell us how he would want his to be. Uh, we've also heard uh, Pietus also saying the same thing. We'll see how far we can all bring... Uh, Jose... Apia is not 20. He's 25 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know Apia. Listen, we <laughs> wanted to look for Apia before Paimuka. We were looking for Apia. We were looking for uh, uh, Kiki Bia, uh-huh, uh-huh. his boss. Yeah. And I think we weren't allowed to... That is case, case frequency, yeah? Case frequency. Mm-hmm. Apia was in the studio. He came out. He was a young guy. He was already a producer. So, Paimuka time is, is, is 2000, eh, 1999 uh-huh. to... 2019. So Paimuka is 20. Uh-huh. Apia is 20 something. <laughs> I've told him, is he a good year if you are listening to me? Eh? Is he a good year if you are listening to me? You are 25 or more. I beg you, stop saying Apia at 20. Okay. Mm. Deba, huh? Deba, huh? Boy, be pe so GG me. Me fa baby, I know that tell me. My yama feed me, who treat me. Deba, huh? Deba, huh? On your way, dear freaky me. Me see seb one, be be a me. And I mean the best I myself from me. Deba, huh? Let's do this one as well. Some of these boys. That was the year 2000. This one. What you just played, that uh-huh. was the year 2000. Okay, that yeah. is after Paimuka. Yes. Good. Now let's move on to still do more. Listen to beats. Hey, I'm out for Xylophone.
<laughs> legendary productions now how much is he why i was asking if you have the list of who should be part of this because all these people we might forget they are, they are represented hey they are represented but you don't have any list where you can mention them eh? oh no i, I in fact you have to hammer else we forget team, some of them the team will have to mm-hmm. officially ask permissions before i can publish them i can mention them like that i don't want to No, but the, these are people you have worked for yes but uh, that is not I necessarily still, to say they are going to be part of the celebration i still have to approach them mm-hmm. and tell them officially mm-hmm. before i can tell the public oh otherwise it will be like hammer hasn't talked to me and he's saying that i'm he, be at he show. Oh. maybe somebody's booked for a day for the same day somewhere mm-hmm. and that that show can be cancelled because 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 um i didn't ask for permission okay. i think that is only right and respectful to these big boys okay to let them know. all right sticker let's still pay some attention to history and after that uh, we still have some questions for hammer to answer this one as well xylophone All things being equal, we should be seeing all these wonderful people as part of the Hammer 20 JD celebration. Yeah, JD. Now, what in the kind of recent times? Um, now me prepping for one of Sarkodie shows in the last year. Okay. He was supposed to be there. Uh huh. But just when we had finished rehearsing in Obaya Ah. And he, he couldn't come, but he would have graced the whole show. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I see. Now, how about that? There is something about the beats or the kind of work our boys are doing today and what you were doing today. Though those times, Hammer was not having his identity or signature in the beat. But those who really followed could see, uh, could feel, ah, Sabi turn but boom, boom, where Hammer beat. But now they have made it so easy. You hear and you know, oh, this is coming from the maker. You hear and this is coming from Street Beats. Why were you guys not doing anything like that? Or maybe. It was knowledge you did not have. No, actually, right? You mean they they signed their signature? Yes, the signature thing, the I introduction. Started that. Okay, you started in which of the songs and how? Every song, the last two. The last two. Okay. I, I didn't use Hammer. That was the studio name. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. The last two music group was the. It was set up with my partner and I, mm-hmm. Joe Paimoka. But after that album, after the Paimoka album, he left for the states, and I didn't want to change it to the last one. So I came up <laughs> off the last two. Like oh, one okay. or two. So so far, since Paimoka till now, you've only heard one part of the two. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he's actually coming to Ghana next week. Okay. We hopefully we will do something, then you guys see the, the two together again. You will do know, a think, bit? Oh, we could. I mean, I have a small a uh, in my 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 house. It's not really a setup for in fact i was going to ask that is it true hammer never owned a studio no oh, wow uh-huh, because that that has also been around some no, no. hammer no. never owned a studio he was only working in who, who was in a... oh it has been around so no, many no, times that was yeah. the early when i started hey you can can you be in this industry and not own a studio mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i started uh i was like a ghostbusters you know the ghostbusters no like you have a ghost in your house then you call them ghostbusters come come and fix it for me 
that was who I was. You call me, you 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 are you are an artist. Mm-hmm. You want me to work with you. I I ask you what studio. Then you show me CHM. Then I take my knapsack. Then I come. Then I come and destroy. Then another person calls me Cave Studios Deba. Mm-hmm. I go there. I go and destroy. Then Obrafo calls me DKB. Oh. I go there. Then I go. Okay, and I then, understand that. Perception. So I was just I was twenty two that time. If you get car self, then be your be your father in car. <laughs> it's not yeah. internet twenty two. <laughs> I'm talking about real twenty two. CHM eh? Obrafo CHM. It is a that and that you can't cut and paste though. When you make a mistake, you are going to the beginning of the song. You guys are lucky. We were there when it was analog. You don't get these things that you guys have now. So it was it was quite um, it was crazy. I mean that that time it, it was it was it was crazy. It wasn't like now. Right now these boys have a lot of opportunity. Fruity Loops. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I haven't mm-hmm. used it before. I don't know how to use it. I see. The first time I saw it. Boys were clicking the kick like you click here, then boom, mm-hmm. boom. I was like, "Wow, this is heaven," <laughs> you know. But because hey, you can just sit down and click, click, and, and then you get a boom, boom. beat. You play. I play it on the keyboard. Everything that you're hearing, I was playing it on the keyboard. I, I, I play. Listen, <laughs> I dance in the studio. Everybody who knows me in the studio, when I play my kicks, I have to dance. So while when I'm dancing with my afro, then I get the bass then i come and play it then i go back then i'm dancing Mm -hmm. then i get the horn then i come and play then i go back then i'm dancing so it was production it wasn't like i'm sitting behind some computer then no no, clicking clicking yeah so um right right now i respect what the boys are doing Mm. because no matter whether they click or not if you don't have the great idea it won't come out good Mm. so Mm. i've come to respect the fruity loops and everything else. I see. Now that there is a friend in uh, I think Slovenia you asking that. Stand. Uh, yeah, you can stand. Uh, yeah, you can I stand. <laughs> you want to stretch a little bit? That's okay. A friend in uh, Slovenia is asking that sometimes the compilation you did, he tries to find them online, especially on iTunes, and he doesn't get them. Yes, uh, I, it's still on, it's still not on iTunes. Why? I, I, I don't know. I just I, I think I just didn't care to. You know, I just, I just got a call actually like last week that how much, why. So I'm working on it. Okay. I mean, so you are here too. Yeah, yeah. I see. I'll put it there. I see. Now all the beats you've produced over the years, are you enjoying royalties from them? No, I haven't before. I haven't registered them at Gamro. I I think I will also be doing that. You see, let me show you something about me. I I became a producer by mistake. Don't think some am I some crazy genius producer? No. I became a producer because my partner kept on saying, hey, Hama, your mind, the way it works around music, you are a producer. So he, my partner, Yawa Poyanov, pushed me to become to 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 become a producer. You know, Poyanov was the person who actually pushed and pushed and pushed. So I, I always felt I was going to leave this and go and do something else. You know, so the production thing wasn't I didn't even like want to have you a record time. of my stuff. Mm. You know, I finished the production and I'm done. I don't have most of my data, only Paimuka. You know, when the studio, I'm done in the studio, I just leave. You know, I was I was a kind of a teacher. I came, I, I, I come to solve a problem and I go. Mm-hmm. It wasn't mm-hmm. like I was a, a growing producer where I'm keeping my portfolio, I'm, I'm keeping my, my, uh, Productions. my, my, my library. Mm-hmm. No. It wasn't mm. about that at all. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be a film director. I see. You know, yeah. So when I wasn't in uh, uh, the Ghana films, <laughs> it was a joke. The the industry was a joke. I, I, I didn't think that it would go anywhere. But now it has actually picked up. I see. You know? So um, ca- because you were not ready to do it as a profession, does it mean you did not also make money out of it? Not really. Not at all. Mm. Uh, the only place I made money was Edem. Adam was the first time I took this upon myself. Mm-hmm. Adam, Adam is when I bought my first house. Adam, through tr- you mean profit from profit? Glow, Glow, Glow signed Adam. They gave us seventy thousand dollars 
first year, ah, wow. second year, you give us this. And this Seventy thousand dollars then? Uh, 2004, 2005 or something. So it was, it was a great deal. It was a great deal and uh, that was when I saw money. Not from record sales. Record mm. sales, okay, I saw money with my compilation albums. Yeah. Equia Bidu, mm -hmm. Lucky Sounds. They bought it. Give me block. Yeah, give me block. <laughs> 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 then, um, Abraham Fortu gave me some good money for huh? Execution Diary. Okay. Uh, but mostly, I was serving. You see, I think that people need, need to understand how I, 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 I run this thing. I was serving. I was always serving the artist. Mm -hmm. My motto in the studio, mm -hmm. when you start holding Hammer's bag, mm -hmm. then you are next. Because then you As in the if you're an artist and you start there holding... There are about 50 boys there. Uh -huh. it's me, it means you are the closest to me, so you are getting all the apple. You are the one who is in my front seat in my car. You are the one who is taking my bag to the studio. Then it means that you are next. So what they also know is that when you blow, hammer holds your bag. Then you are the one who is dressed in front and I'm behind you. Mm. I'm coming to showcase you. Mm -hmm. Interviews, I'm there. Like you see Adam here, and then I'll be standing here. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to ask some controversial stuff, I'll come and tell you don't. Mm -hmm. Then he's the prize now. Mm -hmm. But before that, they serve. Then I serve them. You know, all my boys, when I'm done with you, you have to go. Because mm. I'm so focused on the challenge that I forget that you are you have won the prize and I should chop from you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to chop from you. Mm. You see, so it's, it's a passion thing. Mm -hmm. That is why I said I'm coming back as a businessman. Okay. Initially, I wasn't a businessman. I was a creative Out of passion. person mm -hmm. in the industry. But now I'm coming back. I see. Chop money. The way when they blow, you leave them. I hope you don't do it to women as well. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as in women too, when you, when, when Hama mean, does it's one. It's exciting. Two. Look at what Sarkodie did for. The woman thing is exciting, you mean? No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Uh, you know what, what Sarkodie uh, like did for me recently when my bread, I wanted to promote my bread. Mm -hmm. You know, if I had hurt him in the past, mm -hmm. if I was greedy, he wouldn't have allowed it. What he did for me was worth about a million Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't let you into his kitchen to advertise your bread and his family and his daughter and, and uh, you know, his whole family advertising on... He would never do that to you, you know. So I think that there's, a, there's also a prize in allowing these boys to become big boys without, you know, so, some of these executive producers, they hang on to you until kingdom come. Okay. I think that when you, you, you reap, when you reap your profit just a, a bit, let the boy go. Okay. And let, once the boy is gone, mm -hmm. he will pay you back in many, many ways. That is true. There's so many opportunities that you can use. If, if I call him that my, my, my niece is having a party and he, he, I, I want him to come, he will move his Range Rover and come. Mm -hmm. Because he respects me that, oh, Hama played a role in my life and he didn't take advantage of me. You see what I'm saying? So I think that it's not always smart to follow the artist until kingdom come. Collect the money and collect the money. Uh, when? When you won't leave them? Because men are supposed to become bosses on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, After some later. Age, yeah. 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 Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that I, I didn't lose from that. Okay. Uh, everybody that I let go, I get what I want from them if i need you know so so when you hear because of this mindset you have yeah. when you hear stuff like what is happening between stone boy and kelvin boy does it make you feel bad i've not heard anything you've not heard anything i've been very very engulfed in my work okay uh, now at the start I heard it when i was coming here you were saying something about <laughs> kelvin boy being talented and being able to voice out stuff 
Yeah, that yeah, Kobiche was saying that. But so I was wondering, what, what, what's going on with Kelvin mm, Boy? Now it comes across like um, he wants to graduate from Benetton Music Group, and it is being shouted with some one or two. Oh, that, that's that's inside politics. It, it, it will pass. It's not mm, anything. Mm, 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 These things mm. happen in every industry, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it happens in every industry. Okay, we are now going for the real details. Uh, I know some artists came together, they gave us a song to celebrate Hammer. But then, Hammer, when exactly are we doing the celebration of Hammer at 20, and how is it going to be that, boss? Well, due to the overwhelmingly packed year of return activities, yeah, activities, uh, the team has deemed it wise to go to early next year. Mm. So we will do in between January and, and April. February. Oh, okay, yes. and April. Okay. So um, uh, I'll be announcing soon. I know uh, Xylophone has already pledged exactly. to support. I will also support Xylophone. Mm -hmm. I hear about your upcoming Xylophone TV mm -hmm. uh, talent shows. Mm -hmm. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have always. I don't know for some reason when you were at. Plaza FM. No, that place. Uh, Plaza FM. Yeah, 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 Plaza FM. <laughs> I, I was listening to Plaza. Uh-huh. Uba has so, 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 be tuned with, uh, constantly. Be tuned. I think that you, you have something. And the way you are able... I think that your mm -hmm. your traction comes from the fact that you nobody's safe. Mm -hmm. You are not... You give it to you... You give it to them when... You have to. They need be. And you praise them when they are, but they, they are so emotional. Ah. That they get. Ah. 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 And artists are naturally very emotional. I am mel melancholic, my mm -hmm. my my star, my temperament. Uh -huh. You see, and I am kind of very very. Okay, let me give you the secret. <laughs> give it to us, Hammer. People who have been in the studio mm -hmm. with me, pa, my closest artist, mm -hmm. have witnessed something that I'm revealing today. Mm -hmm. I weep when I'm playing beats. When it's time for me to pour my soul in. And whenever there's a stranger in the studio, mm -hmm. and someone like Adam, mm -hmm. he's watching me. I see he's watching me. He sees it coming. Mm -hmm. Then you tell everybody to leave. Mm -hmm. Then because he, he knows it's coming, mm -hmm. and he's he. I don't know whether it is shy for me, but <laughs> all of them. Quack, I say won't allow people to. He will tell it, tell it, Everybody come out. Mm -hmm. They know that I'm coming to. I'm playing something and. It has gotten to me so much. You are in the spirit. So artists are naturally very emotional people. Mm -hmm. And they have a very, a very thin skin. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, I feel like you for talking directly. But when you give it to them, they go bore you. Uh, <laughs> they go really bore you. Artists are very that emotional. That'd be when I become the hater. Eh? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but when I'm praising them, there, I don't become the praiser. Uh, you know. I see, I see. So um, you said the... Uh, brought forth thing. You wanted it to be very um, intimate. Yes. How do you also see I think yours that to be? I will go for. I'll go for that route. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, an intimate show will go a long way mm -hmm. to sit in people's minds. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we are, we are used to the concert. It's, I think it's about the way Ghanaians go to concerts. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to arrive late <laughs> and be seen or what? I, I don't even know why. Mm -hmm. But when you go early. You know, I expected Obrafo to be seated mm -hmm. uh, behind a microphone mm -hmm. and telling them a story, then he makes, he sings a song. Mm -hmm. He tells them a story about this song, then he sings it. Mm -hmm. He tells them a story, the, the, the inspiration behind a particular song, mm -hmm. then he sings it. Mm -hmm. that, would, that, that, that is the Paimuka show for me. Mm -hmm. You know, people, why did you play this song? Oh, this song... I remember when I was driving to the studio, when I was in the car to the studio, mm -hmm. I got this idea. I, got, I called Hammer and I asked him that this is what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. And this is what came up. It was inspired by my girlfriend or whatever. Mm -hmm. So people will really, really feel the show. Okay. We are, there's too much bang, bang, bang. This one comes, this one goes, this one comes, this one goes. Mm -hmm. we, I'm tired of that, you know. So hopefully 
I will show this in my concert mm -hmm. and get people. And I don't want a seating uh, position where we are all face the stage. I'm looking for a banquet kind of yeah. round table kind of round sitting. tables seated mm -hmm. at the you know everybody. I mean people reminiscing, mm -hmm. documentary showing, mm -hmm. people talking or rough walking in between people. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that kind of show is what I'm looking for. I see. But uh, it's very hard to pull off. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very difficult to pull off. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we, we might we might be able to pull it off. I know. We are all going to support too. Uh, Bradford's Kumasi, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. You know, uh, yeah, Bradford's I think that is 25th to... December. Yeah. And um, Sunyani will be 24th or something. Hey, no. Sunyani Rada will be 26 or something. Okay, we are still going to follow it up that way. Now, so do you have some videos of those days you're recording in the studio with any of the boys or Brav for maybe uh, KG and PM? Do you have some videos? I would advise all new artists mm -hmm. to do what we never did. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we, didn't, we didn't think this far. Mm -hmm. You know, it's obvious we weren't thinking this far. You know, posterity... Uh, wasn't part of our plan, mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't do these things. Mm -hmm. All we have are photos and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully, uh, these new boys should change that. Okay. Now that they are entering the studio for the first time mm -hmm. and stuff, I, I will implore them to mm -hmm. really, really get their documentation mm. of their, Even even you are signing your contract, mm -hmm. film it. When, okay. when you are writing your songs, film mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I think that these are the things that... Oh, okay. So, as a now, the making of any of your, your products, you really don't have some videos to show? I have recent videos. Okay, recent ones. Yeah, recent ones. Uh, you know, the, the, the Last of a Dying Breed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know that album. That um, I my, think when you did that... That was my last album. It was I another compilation. Finish. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's called The Last of a Dying Breed. It is. It consists of um, uh, people that I admire, artists mm -hmm. that I admire, mm -hmm. and I named it the last of a dying breed because I feel I'm one of the few people left of the originators. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of the last people left, mm -hmm. the people who started this. Mm -hmm. So the last of a dying breed. Uh, um, I will continue. I, the bread took me away from it. You know, that, that, and, that was the and time. The, and the fiat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fiat just started. And before I go, I'm going to give you some apple. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we just, we, we, we recently did an auction that went very well. Okay. Uh, people didn't hear about it. Mm. But now we are doing an inventory clear out. The cars, eh? Yes. Arnold, Arnold, come closer, come closer. New the, cars. Yes, uh, come closer. New, cars, new cars are coming. Uh -huh. uh, 2019, 2020 cars are coming. Mm. And we want to get rid of all 2018 cars. Wow. So we have given ridiculous prices, mm. low prices. Mm. Uh, so Fiat Africa, mm. I'll, uh, I'll send you, I'll send you uh, a WhatsApp link. Uh -huh. Then you share with your people on the main page, uh -huh. phone page. Yes. Just go there and join the WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. We throw a card there every day. Uh -huh. People bid. Uh -huh. And the, 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 the best bid takes the car away. I beg, but before that, let's pass behind and clear some three cars. <laughs> very necessary. Oh, oh. <laughs> xylophone xylophone is, is, very, is, a, is a friend. I know, right? You know, so uh -huh. my, my CEO, uh -huh. the, the white man, uh -huh. Mr. Paul Flaherty, mm -hmm. Uh, is listening. Wow. So I'm sure that when you come to my office, he can clear us some yeah, yeah, three yeah, behind. Yo, yo. I know. I feel where the Obenya cars. Okay, so a group of artists came together and they gave us this song called Hammer Iedawase. I'm sure on the day they will sing this. And after this, my panel members will come in, ask one or two questions and contributions. And uh, you also. <laughs> Say they can't drill me. <laughs> <laughs> then we we'll also give you the chance to also come in to say a word or two to Hammer. Let's celebrate him. Today is more celebratory than uh, the Q and A's. Hammer, Yedawasi.
This is their way of saying their thank you even in advance before the celebration. King Sack, aka Sack, Hodier, Kwaukesi, your brother, Adam Tiny, on this one called Hama Yedawasi. Now, my good friend Austin Wood is listening to us all the way from Kumasi. He works with Abusia FM as the program manager. He's also the host of their morning show, afternoon show as well. One man, why didn't you know? And uh, Hama, he's saying that on the day, he wants to see guys like a bra for tiny deba dogo agbeko okra boli trigger and nega kg and pm jd and it goes on like that and he adds that he has a whole radio show on hammer so he is forwarding the whole radio show to me so that we give it to hammer as well and i say and again he says he must talk about the introduction of manche before a song starts yeah now i have a word by myself Sammy tell hammer uh that my greatest moment in the last two camp was when he told me he played meshu and isu beat influenced by the way i walk oh, <laughs> yeah, that's <the> <laughs> yeah that's the artist oh, Obama, uh, there as well so many interesting remarks on the brand hammer and it goes on like that and uh tony asanko master brass i mean hammer loves movies rough people don't know about that oh so you see he just wanted to be a director okay so tony asanko he just confirmed that was as well now apia says um bakwa okese can't keep a secret he said in his song that sehama trim bakwa on manu tree seven ah jara stafari blazing yeah no and you're behind the scenes in the studio <laughs> <laughs> Me, me, me papa ye Jesus last two a jen kwa me da so she betes mu ye school kola ye 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 teachers ye da so wo hama ye da so ye peles since 2000 ba nya butara ka wa bre o bra for ko si edem se mi ni wushi ya o ma me ko heaven se 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 wo chi mu ba kwa o ma me ke seven um uh, mr was if chris wado just confirmed this now chris chris wado said sammy how much is my godfather many have no knowledge of this his skin size will make the magic right now <laughs> People don't know Chris Wado has been in the last two camp. Yeah, he said I actually started from last two. Yeah, he, he's been there since uh, he was there since he was like sixteen. Wow. Yeah, Chris Wado was one of my main soldiers. Mm. He, he 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 moved from being a rapper to my main man. Mm. So then now he was more like my right hand guy. Mm. You know, picking other rappers. You know, but. Uh, he 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 can't forgive me for not putting him on. Ah, uh, you know he's been yeah. pissed with me ever since. Oh, I that see. I didn't put him on, but he was more valuable to me as a, mm-hmm. a friend mm-hmm. than a rapper. Mm-hmm. So I stalled on his project mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. that time uh, till now. But oh, okay. And then Chris Wado, your patcho, your patcho, said, "I'm putting on on them." And uh, another person I want me camp here, Joey B. Mm. Joey B. Uh, yeah, They're one, good. Uh, yeah, he was he was with me for ages. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, black was ready for him. Mm. Uh, the black, huh? Uh, I see. Yeah. Ah, Chris Wado, good morning to you. Charlie, mummy, I'm ready. Mummy, I'm ready. Now, any phone na man for me, sir. Any kwaji eka? I know. So online, no. Car, I see a jia sana. Before I ever call, uh-huh. uh, me pese me uh-huh. me my mum for me say uh-huh. uh, the bread is still ongoing. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know about that. We know, we a one bread, a uh, one bread is still. Uh, if I but they are more fish, so they be honey and I'm doing who far. But you say no, mm-hmm. we are trying to I- I- increase the convenience. Oh, mm-hmm. twenty, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, like the community. Uh, 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 stance, mm-hmm. you know, which, which will create a hefty amount of jobs. Oh, wow, you know, yeah. So, we're doing that a lot. Mm. Uh, we are, I mean, we are doing crazy stuff right now. Uh, our RD, especially, mm-hmm. um, all we do is RD, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, we research mm-hmm. constantly because of the fact that our customers are very important to us. Well, yet you come up with more creative ways to get people their bread, their daily bread. You know what I'm saying? So these these uh, stunts that you have, you know, it will be beer. It's like going to have 
about about 50 of them. Wow. These are just small micro stands mm. at Bobby Beer. Mm, I see. So I just want you to know that the bread is still ongoing. Uh, someone also says you're a great cook too. Yes, I am. I uh, see a friend of blessing T Flow uh, and Victor Eddy. Kwame Bedu. Ah, uh, Kwame Bedu, uh, T Flow, the big brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, see okay. Me in my kitchen, okay. That's okay. Okay. Kwame Bedu. Just enjoyed the magic. <laughs> yeah, the so, it, so it's not only the king size that does the magic. Oh, no, no, the king size me giant. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I've stopped smoking. I, I stopped smoking ages ago. Oh, wow. Oh. I had to. I wouldn't have been standing here. Mm. I was doing four packets a day. Mm? I was listen the time four stopped, packs a day. The time I stopped, ah. I was doing four a day. That was about uh, 2017. My partner, uh, Vito, uh, bread, uh, bought in. Uh-huh. I had the bread guy. Uh-huh. Oh no, I now Oma Mijai because uh-huh. I was I was deteriorating. I mean, it was hurting me. Mm. It was killing me slowly. Mm. I mm. smoked since form one in Presek till that time. Mm. So the cigarettes were killing me, and finally I mastered the energy and I put it down. I see. So is this an indirect way of telling those who are also actively smoking they today? Stop. It wow. is. It is a slow killer. I mean, I wake up tired. You shouldn't wake up tired. You should wake mm-hmm. up rejuvenated. Energized, yeah. Your your hormones should all be mm-hmm. up. You know. Mm-hmm. I wake up tired. It was constant. I was like, nah. Good advice there. Bra, you see me, Bra. Now, questions I'm pressing be Sahama. Any point? Time has soon. Time has soon. Time has soon. But fiat, fiat, tell yourself. We are jotting down to yes, Sami. Bra, me here, Carol. Tell yourself, quick, 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 quick. Tell yourself, yeah, yeah, white. Mm-hmm. Um, Sami, so Hama can't be brave. Mm-hmm. You know, he's moved. He's done almost every production. He's done music production, bread production, <laughs> <laughs> and fiat production. <laughs> <laughs> and food production and as food well. Food production. Mm-hmm. But when you look at the current crop of producers, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, do you spot anyone with as many guys with him like you had back in the day? Do you spot any of them who has gathered enough guys who have been through him? Uh, the last, the last uh, camp that I I really really fancied was J Sos Skillions. Mm-hmm. Uh, it produced Ball J, it produced EL, mm-hmm. it produced J Town, Scientific, uh, Joey B. Uh, I mean, it, he did crazy, you know. And the funny thing is, almost all of them are producers, mm-hmm. almost all of them are singers, mm-hmm. and almost all of them are rappers. Mm-hmm. That was a great camp. That was mm-hmm. the Skillions. Was now I don't know if they are still building camps. I know a lot of producers now just send beats. You see, something they need to know about production. You don't play a beat and send it to a rapper and he goes to another studio to record it and mm-hmm. you get it done, then you call yourself the guy who produced it. You know, production is not for the beat. Production is for the song. So when they call you, he, the, uh, he produced this song. You don't say he produced this beat. He produced this song because it, it entails more than the beat. Mm-hmm. Direction, grooming, uh, coaching. You need to advise on the song until the song is done. Mm. So you can't play a beat and send it away. Then somebody goes to do all that, then you say you produced it. You know what I'm saying? These new boys need to realize that it is more than just playing a beat on your computer in the room. Mm. You need to go to where the artist is recording. Mm-hmm. You need to instruct. Even if you don't want to do the recording itself, give direction. It is your song. You give direction. You do all that you need to do to get a song to, to finish. Wow. But apart, uh, as for the camps, I, I, I don't know who is really building a production camp like JQ and I did, like uh, Nana King and most of the old producers did. Mm. Great. Mr. Che, uh, you can come in with your question now. Our time is up, please. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. we, sh- we share the same birthday. 27th oh, I see. March. 27th March, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I see. And, yes. I'm, and I'm 26 March. Yes. Ah. Wow, yeah. I'm 26 March. Oh, then we for celebration together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next year. We will reduce the cost. <laughs> I know. Jo- joint, <laughs> joint cost. Last time, we can't believe that seminar is a fiat in Italy. Me, me, kind. Yay! 
Because you know Fiat in the also be a KGB. Yeah, now only your ambassador. Please, the Fiat, no. You are failing to realize that FCA, Fiat Africa, no. We there's a there's a big umbrella. You know, we we own Jeep. We own uh, Ram. Oh. We own Dodge. <laughs> we we even own Maserati. We oh, own whoa. Ferrari. Ah. Fiat owns all these cars. Mm. You see, so uh, what we have in stock mm-hmm. are mainly, apart from the Fiat cars, we have the Jeeps and the, the rest, you know, the, the Ram and all the kinds of cars that are available. The Ferraris and the Maseratis, you have to order. Mm. Mm. My boss will bring mm. it from there. Charlie, yeah. I, I so feel, I feel what you want. Our um, story, our, our, our story will change. Amen. God will change our story. Right. Right. Next year will be quicker. Wow, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one, and one. Okay, so I have uh, two uh, major questions. First okay, one, quick one, yeah. one please. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. yes, quick one. Mm-hmm. Send your boy. Um, Sack, ne quack, sending those guys. I mean, in our era, no, me who send on it to flow and them. Okay, so I want to ask him, I mean, mm-hmm. how far do you go with T flow? Ah, want to me, I'm building. To say the other sack and the corner hammer, no, yeah, no. The relationship between you and T flow, 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 yeah, me last born. And uh, uh, when you're lucky, as far as my time was concerned, uh, because. I I was just on my way out of the industry, but I think that the 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 project the project you know, was not like at the Bakuma Sopa, but me nya adad. business okay so that's why i couldn't finish all the way with tt flow but mm. but when he went to spider lee he got some traction and now that he's everywhere i mean he's doing well mm. you know? i see mm. so last one quick one mm-hmm. um is the government really supporting the creative arts and it boils down to do you think it would be very good to say be a government to you know all studios in every region like very huge studios. i don't think the studio should be built the studios are not what we need Mm-hmm. Not we at all. need arenas. Mm. We need community arenas. Mm-hmm. We need to reserve the national theaters and the dome for the biggest artist. That way, area boys are more rapping. No bit me ako nungwa arena no. Ako ye show. So I show no bit me ama a a kebab for sika. Bit mama the taxi drivers sika. Bit mama girls girls ni sika. Bit me I I a creative jobs wo honi ama. That show, no, even though a year Nungwa Boga and I said Nungwa uh, champion show, no, or the Badroni Paraba Sa Arena, no, okay. So it, automatically we put the national theater and the rest on a pedestal mm-hmm. that you have to earn, uh, go, go through these arenas mm-hmm. before you really reach the national. And that's Obia sorry, I will do national theater conference center, Debbie. You're reserving my or more material reduce. Now you create a situation where area be a dansuma or arena, a ye nungwa or arena, a ye madina or arena. So weekend shows. Okay. Somebody, an artist can book the weekend. Artists are on 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 breaking out. But to be a name no or madina. Yeah, like the, like the way the boys are doing now. Everybody's representing a hood a kind hood. of. Mm. But there's there's no infrastructure to accommodate their art. Mm, mm, that's true. You know, so we need, the, the concerts are what we need mm. to create the jobs around the concert. Because, trust me, Obibo show we are. The taxi drivers will get jobs. The Ubers mm-hmm. will get jobs. I mean, mm. the, and, and they say it every day. The kebab guys and stuff. So, I think that uh, uh, we don't need studios. Studios right now, people... Uh, they have it in their bedrooms. Their laptops are studios. Yeah. What we need is arenas. Okay. Big Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kobiche. Um, Oba Kasabi and I am Pona Meta Aswa Pampo. Hama will be talking about the best marketing executive uh project. I what A1 bread and chair. I'm a chair. I'm a chair. I'll be kind. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Chalipa Mienu. Chalipa Mienu ka. Okay, my auntie there. Okay, so now I want to say congratulations to Hama. I do A1 every Sunday morning. I just have to use the Malam Road. I buy straight from the source. I don't like the people sometimes. It's not as hot. I go into the place. I like it hot because I leave home as early as 5, 5, 30 using that road. So I had to just stop and call Nana to bring me a hot one. And I enjoy it. I just, I'm just looking back because, I mean, this voice he mentioned were our era. I'm just looking through. I never, did he ever produce a woman? Mm-hmm. Um, because during this yeah, voice, that's that, when I know Miss Bell came up. I mean, but is, I wasn't too sure question. whether Miss Bell was under my watch. Oh, okay, right. Miss Bell was in the studio I worked at. Okay. But she was under my watch. Uh, okay. Uh, I recorded a girl. Okay. I see her right now on uh, on billboards. She's doing Yaz uh, sanitary pad adverts. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen her. Uh, who is that Sheila. lady? Sheila. Aisha. She she's a um, Tick tall girl. Okay. She was called Last Page then. Oh, okay. And she didn't take it serious. I think she moved to designing and stuff. Okay. That was oh. the only girl I really recorded. All right. Let's can't stand the boot camp. <laughs> it's, it's very rough. It was very rough. <laughs> but yeah. I, so when you're coming back this time, I mean, girls can stand because I business. think that now, yes, yes. business. Girls business. are wild. Yes. Mm-hmm. Regardless, they would want to they push their. Wild, yeah. Their, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Before before I ask Hama about the 50 most influential CMOs in Ghana for 2019, George Quay is asking a very funny question. Uh, Hama, George Quay is asking that. Please, we should ask Hama which of the girls, girls he's referring to because he said the girls, girls will also get work to do. I thought nobody had that. <laughs> no, George, we don't. Uh, we, we wanted to ignore, yeah. but he, George yeah. wouldn't forgive. Yeah, but uh, it will create a lot of jobs. I yeah. know. Everywhere. We'll be uh, all corners. And see, that's just say, We'll be back conference center. That's just say, mm-hmm. Kind of music awards. Mm-hmm. And now some big show, mm-hmm. you know, not just any show. We are now a Kubuki conference center. Mm-hmm. The young push government, no, no. Oh my, this RNS won't cost us anything. You see how this thing is set? Uh, Alias Francais is set. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the stairs. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. People sit on the stairs mm-hmm. and the stage is down there. Mm-hmm. That's all we need. We mm-hmm. don't need a, an auditorium or anything like that. Mm-hmm. We need an arena. Okay. You know. So just handle I, a, let me get your view or your opinion on the uh, 50 most influential CMOs yes, in I Ghana. Yes, I the list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm talking about the list here. And yeah. let me get your opinion on it briefly. Our time, in fact, well, is I've been over. Bloating, I've been bloating a lot. I mean, uh, it's funny how uh, my first project, my first album, mm-hmm. became uh, one of the most, uh, the biggest albums ever. Mm. In know, the era uh, of hip life. In the era of hip <clears> life. <throat> and now I just entered the marketing uh, circle and I am in on the same list as MTN and Ideal Milk, Unilever, CMOs. It's amazing. And I thank A1 for bringing me in and giving me the opportunity, giving me shares, not just mm. a mm. job, mm. Mm. Uh, to, to be able to stand toe to toe with veterans like these CMOs, you know, who have been there for a while. I have, I'm, I'm very, I feel very humbled to be part of this list. Mm, mm. You know, it's that, a, it's that, that, that is very great. Yeah. Now, now, when it comes to your marketing ideas, I remember when you sold an idea of us selling about one million copies of Shatawale's. Yes, we, we didn't get a chance. <laughs> we couldn't get it. I, I know it is not over. I would have done it. Mm, it is not over. I would have done it. That either. one, I can promise you, it's not over. It is still yeah. coming up. So yes. let's get ready for it. Thank you so much. Thank for you having so me. much, Hammer of the last two, Edward Saipoku, for gracing our show today. And I know everybody is waiting for that special day when it comes out everybody would endorse it so that you can also be part of the fan god bless you for listening god bless you for your tweet today we couldn't do calls we will do that tomorrow our time has been exhausted heavily uh, because of uh, the space we have here so we will do the calls tomorrow we'll do the review of this interview tomorrow when we are uh, doing the review so the whole interview will be given to you so that you can also share your opinion on some of the information shared by hammer of the last two my name is sammy flex thank you for listening to Showbiz Agenda on Xylophone 102.1 FM tomorrow at 7.